in here first. I'm gonna leave one mattress how it is and then remove the mattress pad from the other. Um, you can just kind of lean it out of the way. Um, then take your pins like you did before and put them in the holes. And just as with lofting, you're gonna take your mattress frame get a little tight so just kind of make sure that everything's out of the way you're then gonna lift it onto the pins and then mattress on top. Um, when you're lofting and bunking, you're going to want to adjust this top frame before you put it up. So make it to your desired height and then put it on the top. If you plan to loft or bunk your bed, the safety rail on the highest bed should be on the side facing into the center of the room. Washington State University does not recommend placing a bed along the window. If you do so, please ensure the built-in rail is on the side against the window. If you would like an additional rail of a different height for the other side of your bed, please submit a work order for one to be provided. So now that you've had your bed bunked and you're ready to unbunk it, um, basically you're going to do it in the reverse order. Take your ladder off and set that to the side. You'll then come and remove the mattress. Once your mattress is off, you're going to take the frame off and set that on the ground. The pins will then come out and put the mattress back on. And there you've debunked your bed. If you plan to put your unlofted bed parallel to a window, the permanent safety rail needs to be on the side against the window.